on what you might want to pack in that all elusive romantic picnic basket for that romantic date and actually uh, have another date from from said first picnic basket okay so my expertise you might want to know where does it come from well a slew of X's that's where my my expertise comes from you might not want to hold too much stock in that but I'm certain that my exes would be more than happy to vouch for how lovely my picnics always had gone and why they're not in my life any longer. But the very first uh, item that's most, most significant and most important is your location. Surely to bring back a, a, a date a second time around, maybe not for another picnic, but for something else. You know, I don't know, ice fishing, who knows. Uh, but you know what? Your location is, is really the best spot. You want to pick somewhere really nice, really romantic, and as you can see, I've picked a lovely beach. So, uh, we have our little table set. You might want to throw in your little table, a blanket, whichever you prefer. I like a table. And so, you bring a table along and that would work wonders so that you both have a place to eat. Of course, if you had only one chair, your date is shit out of luck. But that's a whole other issue. So, Let's see, our first item up for grabs here, and what you should not pack in that picnic basket would probably be air freshener. Not a good sign to your potential possible second date. Okay, I venture to say they probably would be offended. Uh, not only that, should you be outdoors at this said picnic, you're probably uh, wasting time. Air freshener would do nothing for you, and the environment for that matter. So let's 86 the air freshener, shall we? Next up for grabs. In your picnic basket, you might want to, another thing. Keep your text messaging and cell phones on vibrate or silence. You don't want your exes cutting in on your time with your possible future ex-spouse. So, with that said, again, it's always nice to let them know just how much you love mom and let things fall where they may fall, as you see. And I want to be certain that they just know how thrilled I am. I say that, you know what, no picnic is complete without a 1965 party hat and blowhorn. <laughs> to let the whole world know that you are very happy to be with this individual. I say that's a great idea. I think you should pack that. Probably not, but like I said, I'm no expert. It got a little quiet. It's one of those lulls, every seven second lulls, whatnot. Uh, yeah, you might want to bring a book along to show that you're reading it. Possibly put an envelope from an old card from an ex or a present or somebody you might want to be an ex or a present. Again, make sure, especially the book is about faith. <laughs> Very good topic in the event you do want that second date. So that's also a good thing to keep in mind when you're on your first picnic to make it go to a second picnic. What picnic is complete without some sporting events? Why not bring a wiffle ball? Do you remember those back in the day? Maybe you don't. But you know what? There's no time like the present time to bring up a retro game. Of course, if you don't have the wiffle ball bat, this might not be too fun if it's a windy day. So, you might want 86 the wiffle ball as well. Again, to go with the air freshener, probably not a good idea to bring, let's see, respirators. Probably not a good idea to bring a respirator. You know, in case of the allergies you might, <laughs> you might develop on your picnic. This person might have who knows what kind of botulism, God knows what, some kind of plague that's never been named before. You, on the other hand, are prepared. <laughs> Them, <laughs> not so sure. In any case, the ending result of this picnic probably costs you an arm and a leg. So it's always good to bring a nice calculator that we can see if, for those of us that are over 50 and didn't bring our reading glasses. That's always a nice thing to let your date know just how much they are worth, okay? You can't have a picnic with no food. So make sure that's in your basket and you'll have a wonderful picnic day. Especially if it's 
one specific type food and they don't have a choice. That's a surefire way to have a lovely day and a lovely date and probably never see them again. So with that all said, one of the most important and significant parts of a uh, any date, really not just your picnic, is music. Crank it up, baby, and woo the socks and knee highs right off that date to be sure to have a second date. May I have this dance? That's what I'm talking about. Romance, that's what it's all about. But anyway, you've got that romantic music going and grandfather clocks chiming in the background of your beach picnic. That's always another good way to make sure you never see this person again and have another second date, much less finish this first one. But for sure, the last thing I can tell you folks to make sure that you do not ever see this person again is to propose marriage on that first picnic date. And that's a wrap.